Puma Energy actually started in business in Ghana through the parent company, then Trafigora. It came into Ghana sometime around 2006 with the construction of uh, the CBM, which was supposed to bring in uh, fuels into the country from by, through imports. And this was uh, a BOT arrangement with the government. Uh, since then, Puma has managed and operated and transferred this, uh, uh, this facility to the government. So far, we have the uh, booster station that is still uh, in, uh, in function and that is helping to boost uh, the uh, products that is being imported through the CBM into uh, the markets. So Puma Energy employs close to 195 employees today. And that cuts across all our entities, Blue Ocean, BDC, and then Puma Energy being the OMC. Um, this number of employees cuts across all departments. Uh, we are predominantly a downstream and a midstream company. So our activities are mainly within the storage, supply and distribution um, industry. So we have been involved in corporate social responsibility in Ghana markets to be specific, where we have been uh, uh, partaking in the education of uh, youth, of pupils in schools with regards to road safety, can, uh, road safety. and uh, this has gone a long way to help. Uh, an example is what we did last year with the Ayalulu schools, where we were able to sensitize the kids on uh, the need to be cautious while crossing the road, where we put together some, uh, some signages before crossing the road and speed bumps so that we can give back to the community because we uh, are always on the road, uh, on, 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 on the road distributing uh, products. And for that reason, we think it is a, a very key area where we can uh, get back, give back to the, the environment which we operate in. Puma Energy has, has a, I mean, a group of very dynamic and uh, passionate staff. As a company, we are nowhere without our staff. And it is very, very key that uh, we take this opportunity. I particularly would take this opportunity to appreciate the staff. We are very consistent on cultural fit when it comes to the kind of people we employ. We make sure that people we employ are agile and will be able to be malleable enough to flow with the, the values of the business. Recently, uh, Ghana was awarded the, the country of the year in 2019 and this was a contribution mainly because of the uh, input of all the staff. At Puma Energy, we have strived over the period to improve on our benefits, whether um, alive or in an unfortunate incident of death. So for example, all our employees are insured on a life cover. Uh, that ensures that in the unfortunate incident of uh, demise or death, your dependent or your nurse of kin stands to benefit almost about three times annual salary of, of that employee. We appreciate our staff a lot and uh, we have put together a lot of initiatives within the group and within the company to be able to compensate staff and compensate exceptional performance. And also same applies to permanent disability in the event of having a major accident that would result in permanent disability where the employee will no longer be able to, to work, we would ensure that that benefit also goes to the employee to take care of him or her. And um, in terms of our healthcare, it's also quite elaborate. We ensure that uh, employees, have, employees and their dependents have 100% cover in terms of uh, health healthcare. One fine morning, um, I received a phone call from my union chairman, then in a KMSL, one of the entities of Puma Energy, at, uh, at a, uh, situated at Temakbun, that one of his colleagues, uh, whilst on leave, you know, was uh, attending to his personal business and unfortunately uh, got involved in an accident and lost his life. Daniel Agovo was a colleague worker whom I knew for the past five years before his untimely demise. In fact, it was a very sad day and a very sad moment in our lives. It gives me a blow because I was not expecting that this man will just go, uh, go soon like this. He was a very dedicated and hardworking colleague. 
As for uh, his work, he doesn't joke about it. And I know him to be a very responsible person. Using the word responsible alone, you know, embodify all aspects of his life. His work was such that um, they're always on the, on the sea because um, he, he was a captain of uh, one of the tack boats that we use. When you say tack boat, they are the small boat that we use in providing services to the bigger vessels. And he was the captain in one of those vessels, in one of those small boats. Daniel was one of our key divers. Anytime he comes to the office, then he's bringing his expenses that he has in key, that he incurred for him to be uh, reimbursed. Yeah, Fleming Faustina. Daniel Govani Yirenemi. Mini nu waba five. Bakwa ko school. It is your bin and ibani mudi or far mudi agro. A show mu pa musko because your pesa ko de amu de chomu ba yonu pa kesi. Kosi yanya bebi da. De ya be dikla ya di. Obiku ya sumi mu na ya da. Ya mu chere pa mai. Life hasn't been easy for us. We even had to stop school for a while to come and sit at home because my mother wasn't having money. Whenever we see our friends going to school, we feel very sad. And I used to say to myself that if my father was to be alive, we wouldn't have been sitting at home by that time. We would have been in school with our mates. I want to become a journalist. So I told my father about it. And then he agreed. And then he agreed to send me to the School of Journalism when I grew up. But now there's no more. So I don't know how that dream of mine can be fulfilled without him. As an organization and as per our policies, um, in the event of death of an employee, there is a set of uh, support that should come from the business, even though he didn't uh, die in, uh, in, in the course of you know, of work. Daniel died interstate, and so then, by law, it was for his next of kin to be the administrator of his estate. Almost a month after paying the benefits to the nurse of kin for the rightful disbursement, we had a call from the wife that um, the family is ejecting her from their current um, place of abode and also the benefits that were supposed to go to the children and her, the wife, were denied them by the family. Immediately, we assembled the executives of the staff union of the KMSL and then also some management members to sit down to, to uh, find a solution to this, to this impasse. So we decided that we were going to put in place a trust fund that would ensure that the children are secured. We decided to solve their accommodation problem by purchasing a piece of land and uh, building a house for the children uh, as well as the, the, the surviving spouse to ensure that if for nothing at all, they have a place to, to lay their heads. And the rest of the funds uh, was supposed to be put in a trust fund to ensure that the children's education as well as their welfare was not affected in any way. Currently we are at the roofing stage of the house and um, we intend also to hand over the trust fund and um, its rules to the family, the immediate family. What Pima did for our brother is so overwhelming. When I heard that uh, Puma came in, they said they will build a house for our, our brother, our friend and our colleague. It was a good decision. It's something laudable 
and we need to commend them for, for that. This is a very commendable uh, act, what has happened, and uh, we, uh, by doing this, by also supporting this as management, we want to tell staff that they are quite important to us and we are also very, very concerned about the beneficiaries that staff leave if for any reason we lose any of our staff. The company has left a mark not only in the community but in the minds of anybody who lives within the vicinity where these people live. They took our education and then they sent us back to school. I want to thank Puma Energy for everything they've done for me and my family. This exemplifies our energizing community vision within the group. It shows how Ghana has lived up to this particular core belief. This is indeed what the true definition of energizing community is about. What it means is that you want the community where you operate to feel that they are part of you and part of you is given to them. The staff of Puma Energy, the lesson to us is that the company does not only just pay salaries, but the company think of after Puma as well. It's our prayer that Puma will continue to the finished target that they, they, they have decided. I pray that God will touch the heart of Puma Energy so that they will still come to our aid to help us, so that we can also further our education to become who we want to be in future. What we have done so far in terms of what we are giving back to the community and what we are also doing within our staff and those that have lost loved ones is an indication that Puma cares. Puma cares and indeed we care.